Good morning. Hi everyone, it's me, Mike, <clears throat> Apple Fun Puppetry, and we're here this morning because we all like puppets, and we're going to make a puppet this morning. I am going to show you guys how to make a puppet out of a can, and it's a marionette. Here's a joke for you that I just made up. What do you get when you cross a can and some string? That's right, a robot marionette. Good one, right? That's a joke. This is what we're going to make today. This is a, a can on string, so I just taped some string to the top of a can, put some feet on there, and a stick, and that's a marionette. A marionette is a kind of puppet that's controlled by string from above. Instead of putting your hand up inside of the puppet, you control it with string from above, so this one can walk. You wiggle the stick, and his little feet move. Hello. Here's another one that I made. This one's like, I made it look like a soup can. <clears throat> well, it is a soup can, but I made it look like a Campbell's soup can. And it's the same thing. So there, I'll show you how I did this. It's really easy. So first of all, you get a can. This is a can. And you cut, obviously you have to get the soup or whatever out of there. So you get help with the can opener and you cut it open the top. And when you do that, make sure there's no sharp edges left inside the can, okay? Uh, so it's safer. And then you turn the can upside down so that this is the top, the solid part. It's like a drum. And that is going to be the head of the puppet. So first thing to do probably is make a face on here. So get yourself some uh, white paper or whatever you want colored paper even and cut out uh, some eyes and a mouth okay here's my sharpie and I'm going to draw some eyes it's better if uh, if you're using white on silver like white paper on a silver can it's better if you have a bit of an outline like a black outline around your eyes and your teeth so that it shows up better so I'm drawing everything all at once here. I'm drawing the mouth and the eyes at the same time. Let me show you what I've done. There's a glare. There it is. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to cut it all out. Mouth. And eyes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape those onto the can using, you guessed it, tape. You can glue these on or you can, uh, yeah, glue or tape. You can use either of those things to attach the face. There's the mouth. And what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a piece of uh, scotch tape, clear tape, right across both eyes because it's clear. They show through. And then I just tape them both on right above the mouth. And now we have a robot face. And you can decorate this further by putting like robot things on here, like a little screen or something on his belly. But I'm going to keep this one simple. I like the, the lines on the can. Listen. I love that sound. Uh, you, you can just leave it plain if you want. I distracted myself for a second there. Now, this is what I'm using for feet. These are tiny plastic cups from the dollar store. And they make great feet for robots. They also make an, a, a hat, a nice hat if you want. And... Or on the robot even. You could have a hat. It's a fez. That style of hat is called a fez. So all I'm doing is I'm putting a piece of tape on top of the cup. And then I'm making a hinge. A hinge. By attaching the other end of the tape to the side of the robot. And it's a hinge, right? So his feet. He's got a, a knee or a hip there now. So it moves up and down. That's what you want. So that's one. I'm going to do the other one. The other leg. Piece of tape on top. 
and attach it to the side. Okay? Two, two feet or legs. There you go. It won't stand up if you do it that way. You have to, if you want it to stand up by itself, you have to kind of get the, the cup, edge of the cup underneath the can a little bit like that. Now he'll probably stand up by himself. Yep. Tippy, but it's going to stay. Uh, before I put the strings on here and finish it, I'm going to add arms. Uh, I have, uh, this is just an old Kleenex box. Always reuse your, your recycling. Like if you can think of something to do with your recycling before you recycle it and reuse it, it's always good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this uh, cardboard to make robot arms. By the way, if you don't have a can, you don't have to use a can to do this. You could make uh, the this puppet on a string, a marionette, out of almost anything. You just attach a string to like a rock, put some feet on it or arms, and that could be that could be your puppet. So I cut out a couple arms, and. Uh, I'm going to attach them to the side using tape. You use a lot of scotch tape for this project. So I just put a piece of tape. I used half a piece of tape. Attach one arm to one side. Maybe use a couple pieces of tape if you want to make it stronger. And then you're going to have yourself a robot marionette. Now. If you're looking for ideas uh, about what a robot should look like, when I was uh, young, there used to be a movie called um, The Black Hole, and it's a Disney movie, and it's got a lot of robots in it, and one of the robots is called Vincent, and one of them's called Bob, and I don't even think I ever saw that movie, but I remember seeing all the advertising around that movie at the time, and uh, thinking those robots looked really cool. I don't think the movie was very good. I don't know. I didn't see it. I don't think. Maybe I saw it. I don't know. But anyways, the robots kind of look like this. And I thought, that's how a good robot should look. So I always remembered that. So you can get ideas sometimes for your characters from movies or car cartoons or things like that. So the last thing to do here is make uh, the strings, right? So look what I've done. This one's tangled. It's a good thing I have a backup. This one... I attached one string to the top of his head and the middle of the stick and then one string to one of his knees or and then to the top so that when I move this up his leg goes up and then this one is attached to the other side so when that one goes up that leg goes up so first it's better if you attach it's easier I think if you attach uh, the string doesn't matter what kind of string you use but Sometimes it's better to use a little bit thicker string so you can see it, at least for your first marionette. And first of all, attach, just tie the string to the stick. And you could glue it or tape it to make it stronger if you want. And so you have a string there and then you tape the other end of the string to the top of his head. And you could use uh, scotch tape, clear tape, but I'm going to use duct tape this morning because it's a bit stronger. And you attach that right to the very middle. Also, if you're using silver duct tape, it blends into the can a little bit so you don't see it. So there we go. You can pick them up now. And all you need to do now is make the legs move. This is a very simple marionette. So if, uh, all it does is walk, right? The only thing this marionette does is its legs move. But if you wanted to make a more advanced marionette, you could add strings to the arms. And also you could add strings to his bum so that he could bend over or pick things up or whatever. And the way you would do that is you would add another stick. So I used just one stick for this one. But if you wanted to add another stick and put them in an X, you could add other strings to the arms on the front. And on the back, you could put one to his back so he can tip over. All right. But that's a more advanced uh, marionette. Okay. So now, this is tricky, this part. So now you want to attach this string to this leg. 
So you make sure you have enough string. First of all, you have to kind of estimate and tie the string to the end of the stick. I don't think I have enough string here. So I might have to shorten the uh, middle string, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, that's attached to the stick on one side and then I'm gonna tape this end to his knee. Let's see how it turned out. Try not to get your strings tangled up. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, it's too, sh it's too uh, short, but that's okay. All I'm gonna do is make this middle one shorter by wrapping it around a couple times around the stick. And that's better. And that just shortens it up when you wrap it around there. And you can make that stay just by adding some tape. Okay, so be careful not to get your ta strings tangled up. And get yourself one more piece of string. Where's the end of this string? Found it. Get a little bit longer piece this time so that I don't run out. And then tie that to the end of the other end of the stick. Good. And get yourself a little piece of tape. And you kind of, it's better if you have a, someone to help you do this, but you can do it by yourself. You just have to sort of estimate how much string you need and then put it back down. Put it back down, put, oops. I forgot how much I needed here. Roughly that long. And then you put your tape on the end, the string, cut off the extra, tape it to his knee or her knee if it's a girl robot. Okay, there we go. We did it. It's uh, good, I think. It needs adjusting because the you can see, watch, if I just shorten up that middle string a bit, the legs go and hang in a nice uh, on a nicer angle. So I just have to sort of tape that up there or tie it up there a bit and then it'll be better. It's too short now. You have to just fiddle with it until you get it right. Okay, see what he's doing there? His legs move up and down so you can make him walk. Hello, I will walk forward. That's how I walk. Also, this is how I dance. There you go, everybody. That's how you make a puppet. A marionette using string in a can. What do you get when you cross a can in some string? A marionette that's a robot. That's a little joke that I wrote. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good rest of the day. My name's Mike, Apple Fun Puppetry. Don't forget to like and share the video. Bye.